Vicodin, a combination medication comprising hydrocodone and acetaminophen, has been a subject of interest and concern in the medical community. As a potent opioid analgesic, it is widely prescribed for the management of moderate to severe pain. However, its potential for misuse and addiction has led to stringent regulations and a need for responsible prescribing practices. In this comprehensive video, I will delve into the intricacies of Vicodin, exploring its applications, benefits, potential side effects, dosage recommendations, and associated risks. By shedding light on these aspects, I aim to provide a holistic understanding of this medication, enabling informed decision-making for both healthcare professionals and patients. What is Vicodin used for? Vicodin is primarily prescribed for the relief of moderate to severe pain resulting from various conditions, such as injuries, surgical procedures, or chronic pain disorders. Its analgesic properties stem from the hydrocodone component, which belongs to the opioid class of medications. The primary indications for Vicodin include post-operative pain management. After undergoing surgical procedures, patients often experience significant pain, and Vicodin can be prescribed to alleviate discomfort during the recovery period. Injury-related pain. Traumatic injuries, such as fractures, sprains, or muscle strains, can cause substantial pain, and Vicodin may be recommended to provide relief and facilitate healing. Chronic pain conditions. Certain chronic pain disorders, such as osteoarthritis, neuropathic pain, or cancer-related pain, may warrant the use of Vicodin when other non-opioid analgesics are ineffective or inadequate. It is essential to note that Vicodin should be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional and only when the potential benefits outweigh the risks associated with its use. Understanding the applications of Vicodin. Beyond its primary use as an analgesic, Vicodin may also find applications in other medical contexts. However, it is crucial to emphasize that these applications should be carefully evaluated and monitored by healthcare professionals. Cough suppression. In some cases, Vicodin may be prescribed as a cough suppressant, particularly for persistent or severe coughs that disrupt sleep or daily activities. Palliative care. In palliative care settings, Vicodin may be used to manage pain and improve the quality of life for patients with terminal illnesses or advanced stage diseases. Off-label users. Occasionally, healthcare professionals may consider using Vicodin for off-label purposes, such as the management of certain types of headaches or migraines, when other treatment options have failed or are contraindicated. It is important to note that these applications should only be considered after a thorough evaluation of the patient's condition, potential risks, and alternative treatment options. Benefits of using Vicodin. When prescribed and used appropriately, Vicodin can offer several benefits for patients experiencing moderate to severe pain. Effective pain relief. The combination of hydrocodone and acetaminophen in Vicodin provides potent analgesic effects, helping to alleviate pain and improve overall comfort. Improved quality of life. By reducing pain levels, Vicodin can enhance a patient's ability to engage in daily activities, participate in physical therapy, and experience a better overall quality of life. Facilitated recovery. In the context of post-operative or injury-related pain, Vicodin can aid in the recovery process by allowing patients to rest and heal more effectively. Potential for reduced healthcare costs. Effective pain management with Vicodin may lead to shorter hospital stays, reduced need for additional interventions, and lower overall healthcare costs. It is important to note that these benefits should be carefully weighed against the potential risks and side effects associated with Vicodin use, and close monitoring by healthcare professionals is essential. Potential side effects of Vicodin. Like many opioid analgesics, Vicodin can cause a range of side effects, some of which can be severe or even life-threatening. Patients should be aware of these potential side effects and promptly report any concerns to their healthcare provider. Common side effects of Vicodin may include constipation, nausea and vomiting, drowsiness and sedation, dizziness and impaired coordination, dry mouth, headache, itching and skin rashes. More serious side effects may include 
respiratory depression, slowed or shallow breathing, confusion and cognitive impairment, allergic reactions, e.g., swelling, rash, difficulty breathing, dependence and addiction, overdose, potentially leading to coma or death. It is crucial for patients to follow the prescribed dosage and instructions carefully and to report any concerning side effects to their healthcare provider immediately. Dosage recommendations for Vicodin. Vicodin is available in various strengths, and the appropriate dosage depends on factors such as the patient's age, weight, medical condition, and pain severity. Healthcare professionals will determine the optimal dosage based on individual circumstances and closely monitor the patient's response. Generally, the recommended dosage for adults is as follows. For moderate to severe pain. Initial dose. 5 mg to 10 mg of hydrocodone every 4 to 6 hours as needed. Maximum daily dose. 60 mg of hydrocodone. It is essential to follow the prescribed dosage and not exceed the recommended daily maximum. Patients should also be aware that Vicodin should not be taken for longer than necessary, as prolonged use can increase the risk of dependence and addiction. Risks associated with Vicodin use. While Vicodin can be an effective pain management option, its use is associated with several risks that should be carefully considered. Dependence and addiction. Prolonged use of Vicodin can lead to physical and psychological dependence, increasing the risk of addiction and the potential for misuse or abuse. Respiratory depression. Opioids like hydrocodone can suppress respiratory function, potentially leading to life-threatening respiratory depression, especially when combined with other central nervous system depressants. Overdose. Accidental or intentional overdose of Vicodin can result in severe adverse effects, including coma and death. Interactions with other medications. Vicodin can interact with various medications, including other opioids, sedatives, and certain antidepressants, potentially increasing the risk of adverse effects. Impaired cognitive and motor function. Vicodin can cause drowsiness, dizziness, and impaired coordination, which may increase the risk of accidents or injuries. It is crucial for patients to discuss these risks with their healthcare provider and to follow all instructions and precautions carefully. Precautions and considerations when using Vicodin. To ensure the safe and effective use of Vicodin, patients and healthcare professionals should consider the following precautions and considerations. Thorough medical evaluation. Before prescribing Vicodin, healthcare professionals should conduct a comprehensive medical evaluation including a review of the patient's medical history, current medications, and potential risk factors. Monitoring and follow-up. Regular monitoring and follow-up appointments are essential to assess the effectiveness of Vicodin, adjust dosages as needed, and identify any potential side effects or concerns. Proper storage and disposal. Vicodin should be stored securely and out of reach of children or unauthorized individuals. Unused or expired medication should be disposed of properly to prevent misuse or accidental exposure. Avoiding alcohol and other substances. Patients should avoid consuming alcohol or using other substances that can potentiate the effects of Vicodin and increase the risk of adverse reactions. Gradual dose reduction and tapering. If Vicodin is no longer needed or if the patient is experiencing adverse effects, the dosage should be gradually reduced and tapered off under medical supervision to minimize the risk of withdrawal symptoms. By adhering to these precautions and considerations, patients and healthcare professionals can work together to optimize the safe and responsible use of Vicodin. Alternatives to Vicodin While Vicodin can be an effective option for pain management, there may be situations where alternative treatments are preferred or necessary. Some alternatives to Vicodin include non-opioid analgesics, over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or naproxen may be suitable for mild to moderate pain relief, depending on the patient's condition and medical history. Topical analgesics, creams, ointments, or patches containing analgesic compounds like lidocaine or diclofenac can provide localized pain relief without systemic side effects. Physical therapy and exercise. For certain types of pain, such as musculoskeletal or chronic pain, 
physical therapy and exercise programs can help manage symptoms and improve overall function. Alternative therapies. Complementary and alternative therapies like acupuncture, massage, or mindfulness-based stress reduction may be beneficial as adjunctive treatments for pain management. Other opioid analgesics. In some cases, healthcare professionals may consider prescribing alternative opioid medications, such as morphine, oxycodone, or fentanyl, depending on the patient's specific needs and risk factors. It is important to discuss all available options with a healthcare professional and to carefully weigh the potential benefits and risks of each treatment approach. Conclusion and final thoughts. Vicodin, a combination of hydrocodone and acetaminophen, is a potent opioid analgesic widely prescribed for the management of moderate to severe pain. While it can provide effective pain relief and improve quality of life, its use is associated with potential side effects, risks of dependence and addiction, and the need for careful monitoring and responsible prescribing practices. Throughout this video, I have explored the various aspects of Vicodin, including its applications, benefits, potential side effects, dosage recommendations, and associated risks. By understanding these factors, patients and healthcare professionals can make informed decisions and take necessary precautions to ensure the safe and appropriate use of this medication. It is crucial to remember that Vicodin should be used only under the guidance of a qualified healthcare professional and in accordance with prescribed instructions. Patients should be vigilant in reporting any concerning side effects or signs of dependence, and healthcare professionals should carefully evaluate each patient's individual circumstances and risk factors. While Vicodin can be a valuable tool in pain management, it is essential to explore alternative treatment options and consider non-pharmacological approaches whenever possible. By adopting a comprehensive and holistic approach to pain management, we can strive to improve patient outcomes while minimizing the potential risks associated with opioid use. In conclusion, responsible and informed decision-making is key when considering the use of Vicodin or any other opioid analgesic. Through open communication, careful monitoring, and a commitment to patient safety, we can work towards optimizing pain management strategies while mitigating the potential for misuse and adverse consequences.